Hello everyone. In this segment on reasoning involving cubes, we will be looking at cube unfolding. In these kind of questions, you are given a cube with a certain representation of symbols and you are asked if it is opened into something like this. What of which of these patterns will be true? So I will be teaching this using the examples. Let's take this example. So the completed cube is given to me of this form and they are asking me which of these patterns when folded would give me a cube like this. Now first of all please don't worry on seeing any question. Most of the questions have some easy trick to solve them. Like I said in the previous video you do not require special uh, actual 3D visualization to be able to do these questions but just some logic and elimination. Like I said I don't have any sort of 3D visualization and I used to do very well at these questions. Okay. So what you do is in these questions you have these three. So what you do is you just open these three and, and see the pattern that emerges. So what you need to do is you need to open two edges. First is this edge and the second is this edge. That's it. So while opening the first edge just forget about this symbol. Just draw this top view the top symbol first. So if this is my this card then what is the symbol that I have? I have an empty circle and I have a solid circle. Till now there is nothing difficult. Now forget about this. The card below this is this. So which is this oval. Till now there is no difficulty. Now let me open this edge. Now you forget about this. If this is given and if I draw this next card you will always get a pattern like this. Then this is this. This is fairly straightforward. You can try to do this again without looking at the video or you can take any other example. This is fairly straightforward. Now all you need to do is this in your patterns you need to find exact replica of this. Now if you see here I have this. This is there. This one is there. Till now we are doing good. But towards the right you don't have this. This is in fact here. So this is not my correct answer choice. Now let me come to this. So here this one matches, this oval matches this and this line matches this. So this is in fact my correct answer but even then let me move on to this. Again this matches this but below this I don't have the oval. Again disqualified. Oval is lying somewhere here. Now come here. This is anyway. This is some. So okay in this oval is there. Line is there but this is not there. So again disqualified. This is my correct answer. Now in this I would like to give you another concept. This might not be useful exactly in, 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 in the question that I am going to solve but you would do well to remember this. If I have a pattern like this. Let me just number these for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So what we do know from this representation you can find it out yourself if you try to actually fold out something like this into a cube that 1 and 3 will be opposite to each other. Similarly 2 and 4 so the alternative ones are opposite to each other and the remaining 5 and 6 in this case this is the top and this is the bottom are opposite to each other. So you can sometimes use this for solving certain questions because in a cube there is something you should know. Each face touches all the other faces except the one that is opposite to it. So if I ask you that okay 2 this number 2 this face which face does it not touch? It will be touching 1, 3, 5 and 6. It will not be touching 4 because 4 is opposite to this. And similarly if I ask you for phase 1 phase 1 will be touching 2, 4, 5 and 6. It will not be touching 3. I will be using this technique in the third part of the of the cube reasoning but still I thought I will I should tell you this here itself. Let's move on to the other question. In this again okay this I'll, I'll give you two kind of techniques. The one is the opening out technique let me first do that itself. Again I, as I said open this edge and next open this edge. So let me try opening this edge first. This is my first thing it is this and it is this. This is what I have. 
Then I have the second face, which is this and which is this. These are both colored. Okay, fairly, fairly simple. By opening this edge, just forget about this whole thing. Just see that, okay, if this is the thing, draw the face and this one is a rectangle here. Fairly straightforward. Now see in which of these do you find this? You find this only in answer choice B. You can check this out for yourself. So this is the only correct choice. But instead of doing this, another thing that you can check, especially when two symbols are touching each other, you can see that this T, this edge is touching this triangle here. Okay. So this is something that you can notice. So when you are opening it also, this triangle should touch this uh, T. Here, the T is not touching any triangle. So this is ruled out. This obviously is the right answer. So let me leave this for the moment. Again, T is not touching the triangle ruled out t not touching the triangle ruled out this is the answer so you can either open it out or you can see which symbol should be touching the other symbols so this is extremely powerful when you have you know complicated things and you have certain symbols touching each other i'll show this to you in another example now this question as you see, the opening out is also not the standard part. You know, you have some, you have uh, like this one especially. This is, you know, some weird shape. Even the other ones are so slightly weirder. So if you don't want to think about all this, just see something very simple. This is your line. See, in the question, first of all, you need to understand there will be some trick to make it simpler. Because otherwise, if it is a very difficult question, then either you leave it because it will take you a lot of time to solve. In the examination, please don't get into an ego tussle with the questions thinking that, okay, I will solve this. You need to get the maximum impact for your time. That is the only thing that is important in the exam scenario. So in this question, this line is touching this triangle. So I have this triangle and it should be touching this line, something like this. So let me not open, let me not do anything. I just know that the line and triangle are the triangle tip, in fact. So this is not true because the line is not touching the triangle tip. This is not true, line not touching triangle. This is not to line not touching triangle. This is my correct answer. Line is touching the triangle. I don't need to do anything at all. Because otherwise, what you can do is if you even if you try to open it, it is slightly more difficult because I do this. I have this is my first. I'm opening this edge. The lower face is this triangle. Okay, till now no issue. And this one is the line here. Okay, this is fine. But if you see none of these patterns, you will be able to match because this is actually a rotated view of this. Obviously, in a cube, as you would know by now, any rotation is allowed. So if I rotate it by 180 degree, what will I get? I'll get the line right here, right? This goes here. This thing is going to come down. Everything goes 180 degrees and this part will, will go up. You can just try to, you can just draw it on a copy and try to rotate it. And this one here will become this. So this is what is matching your answer here. So if you have certain symbols touching, I would recommend that first of all, you see what is also touching in the unfolded cubes. That is the generally the fastest way of doing it. Otherwise, if you have, if you had like, uh, if you also have something which is um, like in this case, this triangle was the opposite and they were touching in the right way, then you'll have to open it up like this and maybe in your exam copy, just try to rotate it and see uh, which ro after rotation, what matches one of these because you'll be able to eliminate at least two choices using the touching thing and of the two remaining choices, you can rotate your copy and see which one fits. Okay, in case you want to do more visualizations with the cube, let me tell you how you can form these, these kind of papers. It's very simple, but still I'll tell you. You take a piece of paper. Please pardon my drawing. It's really bad, as you can see. You need to fold it from here and you need to fold it by at this. So you need to fold it along this line, then along this line. Then you fold it once along this. So you just make a, you know, just fold it twice and then you fold it twice again. When you'll open it, you'll see you have four equal divisions like this. So I have this. After I get this, you can just, you know, cut it 
along this this entire portion you cut so you just remove this okay and here you remove this so what will remain is basically this this thing will remain this thing will remain this thing will remain and this will remain and these marks will be there so you can actually fold it out and see you know what is going on it, it helps you a lot in initial visualization which will help you in the examination